Hi. In this video, we will learn how to remove objects from a video footage in Blender. The only thing you have to do is to create a plane in Blender. Easy, right? So we will work on static camera, moving camera, and wire removal. Record the video with static camera. Now we need to convert this video into image sequences. It is very easy and we can do it inside Blender. I will show you. Open Blender. Switch to video editing layout. Click on add, then click on movie and navigate to find the video. Click on add movie strip. Now set the end frame of this video. Left click on the timeline and use navigation button to find the last frame. Then click on frame set end frame now we will go to the properties tab now go to dimension and select your video resolution then set the frame rate of your video in my case 25 frame per second click on film format there are lots of other image format but that png is good to go then go to output and save your output directory Now hit animation, it will take some time to render. These are the image sequences of our video. Now select a frame which is very clear and it does not have any motion blur which we will use it in photoshop to delete some objects. In this case, I am choosing frame number 125. Copy it and paste on other location. Now, open the image in Photoshop. Let's create a duplicate layer. Click on clone button, press alt plus right click to save the target to clone, then hold left click and we'll paint it on the photo. We can also use different brushes as well to get that feathery effect. Right click on and change the size of the brush. Take your time to clone the photo. Now let's save the image as PNG. Open Blender, open properties option, now I am clicking on start display so that you can see what I am typing on the keyboard. Check the background image, then click on add image, then click on movie clip, uncheck the camera clip option, 
click on open and navigate to the plane where you have saved the images. Click A to select all and click on open clip. Now click on camera. Hit 1 in number pad and hold ctrl plus alt plus num0. Delete the cube. Hold shift plus A and add plane. Hit R then X and type 90 for 90 degree. Scale it. Move in the appropriate place. Scale in Z axis. Before unwrapping the plane, we have to go to frame number 125 as we photoshopped our image on 125th number, that is 125th frame. Now hit tab to go to edit mode. Press U for unwrapping. Select project from view option. Now hit tab to go to object mode. Now change solid view to material view. I will create a new window and select the node editor option. Click on material and new material. Delete the default diffuse BSDF. Hold Ctrl plus A and type emission. Hold Shift plus A and type image texture. I will connect them. Then collapse the window. We can increase the opacity. Click A to deselect the plane. Now we have two ways to render this video using OpenGL renderer or using Cycles renderer. OpenGL is very fast as compared to that of the Cycles renderer. But rendering in cycle gives us lots of control over the video. Before clicking on renderer, set the end frame of the video by using navigation button to find the end. Then go to frame, click on set end frame. Then time to select the dimension of the video, frame rate and save the location of the video. And lastly, click on OpenGL renderer. I mean OpenGL render. Let's see the rendered video. Now we have to do some masking work. Open the blender. Switch to the node editor. Click on compositor. Check user nodes and backdrop. Delete the render layer by clicking X and enter. Hold shift plus A and type video clip. Open the video. Hold Shift plus D to duplicate the node. Then open the video. Second video. Now open the alpha over node.
and viewer node as well. The first node of the alpha over node denotes the background. Whereas the second node denotes the foreground. Let's create a new window. Click on video clip editor. Now open the video. Now change the option from tracking to masking. To make a mask, click and hold control and left click. And add the mask. Now hit on auto keyframe. Now click the navigation key to go to next frame. Click A to select all and G to move the mask and try to align it to do some adjustment. Do the step until the end. Now go to node editor Search for mask node
and plug it in vector value. To preview the mask, hold shift plus control plus left click on the node. You have to enable node wrangler add-on. To enable this feature, go to user preference add-on and search for node wrangler. I will zoom it a bit. The edges are too sharp. To fix it, we have to add a blur node to blur out its edges. Hold Ctrl plus A, search, search for blur. Now change to fast Gaussian and add some value. You can mute and unmute this node by pressing M key. The only thing is to set the end frame and change the output settings and render the video. In this video, in this video, in this video we will learn, in this video we will learn, in this video we will learn how to remove objects in Blender.